Okay, so that's all tacked up now in there. I'm going to give a bit of a, a wire brush round because when you're tacking, you get quite a lot of sort of soot around the welds. It can you know, interfere with your runs when you come to do those. So get that really, really clean again. And you can see that's properly held. I've put the attacks roughly every inch or so. I've not had my tape measure out to check them, but they are roughly there, so it's held. What you don't want to do is start doing a weld run and then the panel gets flipped away from where it needs to be. What we're going to do now is do a series of short runs. I don't want to put too much heat into this. And when you're starting to weld, you shouldn't get too sort of ambitious and start running really long welds because inevitably you'll probably blow a hole. We've got good solid steel here, good, so good solid steel here, but I still suggest short runs. You don't build up too much heat. In some cases, you can put some distortion in if you start to put too much heat in it. In this case, it's so well held here, 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 and here. It's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to sort of deform badly. And afterwards, I would go in with a hammer and dolly anyway and sort of dress that up so it's all in the correct shape. You may be able to see that here there's some bit of distortion where I've just been knocking the, the panel and the metal behind to fit each other. But there is a need to do that and we can dress this up afterwards once it's all, all in.